Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, thanks to James at Transylvanian Recordings, we get to go over the new abysmal, a deep sea funeral. Now, I've been waiting for a killer slab of funeral doom all year. A new slab of funeral doom all year and you know some cool releases came out but but this is probably one of the darkest bleakest heaviest and just amazing releases i haven't heard a single person fucking talk about at all this year come on this is fucking devastating like legit when i first listened to this i was just like oh my god like what the fuck like aln produced this from ms moore so you know like it's good shit but like i i just am blown away with first off your patience you need to be patient just throwing that out there it's when it comes to this type of doom you can't rush it like for real you can't if you do you're gonna fuck up the vibe fuck up the atmosphere or not really it, it kind of depends but here build up is key the way abysmal builds up to when the other foot drops it's fucking ridiculous 40 minute track that's how you know like one like one track 40 minutes good shit like and again, you better be fucking patient. Because it starts off extremely chill. And gradually just kind of starts creeping in. And then before you know it, you are getting submerged with just crushing, droning, riffing, and just killer doom from the depths of the ocean not in an ahab way like call the wretched sea i mean the only real comparison i would say is the aquatic theme but i haven't listened to ahab in well over a decade so yeah i kind of forget but um like, everything about this is amazing. Like, cold hearts dive into a black void under the surface, under the tides. What once was now gone, erased from time. A chapter lost of a book of only endings. Scars on its pages. Hidden, ashamed. This life is being pushed to its limits. All is expendable. All is consumable. All within reach. We bring end. Seas will rise. Flood the gates. Drowned in bliss. Between the nets. The future end. Stench of death. Desolate, mourn through all meaning is lost. Why choose to ignore across the ocean floor? Nothing new grows. Why would you want it to continue to fight? I stand on the shore of what I was before. The latest attack consumed in all sight until the ocean dies. A deep sea funeral, a deep sea loss. Waters are now empty, forgotten, lifeless, forgotten, ignored. There's a quote over here. Until we end, all ends. And here's like a boat capsizing. 
which is fucking awesome. And just killer stuff from, I'm pretty sure, uh, Uh, wait, Tijuana, BC, is that British Columbia? January 2022. Okay, I'm not really sure, but this was mastered in Portland, Oregon. So maybe, I, I don't really know, honestly, if they're from Mexico or Canada. And I know that sounds stupid, but... Yeah, I, I see Tijuana, B.C., and all I can think of is British Columbia. Again, I probably should have looked that up. I apologize to Abysmal and James at Transylvania Recordings. But again, remember when I said you have to be patient? Yeah. To me, you know... One of the things that makes a deep sea funeral so good is the fact that it's a trio. It's a single song, much like Sleep's Dope Smoker, but obviously on the darker side of the riff. There's nothing happy about a deep sea funeral. This is sonic misery encapsulated on magnetics and plastic and it's fucking awesome like cause I know where this goes like where this is, this is like I said this is just a fucking very chill build up and like I said, when that other foot drops, you're like, oh my god. <laughs> it's one of those, like, just comes out of no. It's, it's fucking devastating. I would love to see Abysmal live. Like, I noticed a lot of bands are going back to the My Dying Bride early paradise lost well like come on i get it like everybody's you know ripped off disembowelment they're gothin but there's so much room to experiment with like funeral doom and death doom you don't need to just sound like abhorrence there's more out there. You just have to have a little bit of an open mind. Like, imagine mixing abhorrence with mortician and god flesh. You could make that work. 120%. You could make that work and make it interesting. And again, like, it all comes down to your open-mindedness about music doesn't make you a poser if you listen to God flesh. Like, that shit hurts my head when people are like, you like God flesh? <laughs> Isn't that hardcore? Like, ugh. <laughs> I forget who I was, uh, well, I wouldn't drop their name anyway, but, um, Somebody asked me, like, what my favorite typo negative record was, and I legit was like, to be honest with you, probably dead again. And they were like, oh, fuck that album fucking sucks. I was like, that's your opinion. Like, everybody's probably going to say October Rust, the Bloody Kisses. Like, yeah, they're good albums, but it was dead again that brought me back to being a typo negative fan because i was like in high school you know it was like a just wasn't my thing i was more in the just straight up hardcore and death metal and you know when it came to 
the other stuff. It wasn't like it was a guilty pleasure or anything. Like, it's just, you know, it's one of those things. But when it comes to the doom displayed here from Abysmal, I understand why they hired ALN to produce this bad boy. Because ALN knows heavy music. And also gorgeous cosmetics windowless shell love the cursive fuck yeah again james at transylvania recordings doesn't fucking play games and this is a total banger Devastating. Kind of, it like reminds me of a Sonder at times. Like it's fucking awesome. You you need to listen to all 40 minutes of this track. But abysmal, a deep sea funeral, essential listening if you are a fan of funeral doom. That's pretty much besides a giant fuck yeah. I don't know what else to say besides essential fucking listening that all you gloomy doomsters have not been talking about. And this is a 2022 release. And that's good to fucking know. If you enjoyed like the Atromantius album or whatever uh stygian is considered an ep and like i don't really whoa they have the hold on a second that's cool i wonder if this was intentional no it's not it obviously wasn't they have nothing to do with one another thematically the only thing they have in common with each other is heaviness but this was one of the best Funeral Doom releases, I think. See, I don't I don't know why I don't have this on vinyl. Like, I fucking love, love Atromantius Stygian, and I love the vinyl artwork. But, like, the tape version, just, it's so sick. But, true Quebec funeral steel. But, I love the cassette cosmetics here. And very similar cosmetics, actually. There's a cursive quote here. Slit your veins, drink the blood of the immortal gods, and raise your swords for the holding for the howling black winds of Atramantius shall reign in eternal doom. And here we just have Transylvanian recordings and the title A Deep Sea Funeral, but 
I just think that's badass. And I love this Atromantius logo. And if you want to get confused, <laughs> I, I could confuse you real quick. And again, I'm not busting balls here. I'm just, I just want to show you something. It's the, oh, it's on the side, but, uh, yeah, I was wearing a Their Gotham t-shirt, and I know it's in the same font as Forever Glade, like, Worm, it's not a secret Worm t-shirt, it's a Their Gotham t-shirt, okay? <laughs> I, I've brought this up before, but, like, multiple people i have brought this up so real quick <laughs> again i should have done this earlier and you know what fuck it i'm not even gonna pull it out you folks just go type in their gotham stream from the heavens and yeah you'll see the logo i'm talking about like avokin has used it so many bands have used it in the past it's no big deal but if you're looking for a slab of devastating funeral doom look no further than transylvanian recordings a deep sea funeral by abysmal top shelf funeral doom wow Thank you, James, as always, and thank you, Maniacs, for watching. You fucking rule. Hails.